this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! We're back here at the Q's Marsh to catch some more frogs. Uh, up to nine, if I can. I'd like to keep two of the frogs and the golden frog. Let's see, we got three baby frogs and an adult frog. So yeah, yeah, I can do this. I can still leave three frogs there. All right. So let's let the female go and let's see, let the male go. And I should be good. All I gotta do is catch all the baby frogs and this adult frog right there, and I should be fine. If I can actually catch the baby frogs, that is. Baby frogs are a little, um, what is it? They're a little slower than the adults, so they should be relatively easy to catch if they will ever get out of the pond. There we go. But yeah, yeah, okay. So I guess you guys have sold me. I will keep the golden frogs around. Uh, I guess, for whatever reason before, they didn't seem to do a whole lot for me. But, uh, well, this time they did. So, there we go. I guess the golden frog really does help the uh, respawn rate. Too slow. Uh, no. Is that the one I even want anymore? I hate it when they go off screen and then I can't tell which one I want anymore. Well, I hope that's the one I want. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, now all I need to do is catch that baby frog over there and... We'll be in business. I'll have everything I want, and an adult male, adult female, and golden frog. Uh, one thing I also forgot to mention, or well, I didn't know actually, was that apparently golden frogs are not androgynous. They actually have a gender. They just don't state it uh, when you catch them. Uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to uh, well, leave it alone with another frog and hope they uh, well get together, I guess, or have more baby frogs or something, whatever. Baby frogs eventually mature into adult frogs, but in this case, I just want to leave the adult frogs so they can uh, spawn more frogs. But most importantly, we get the silk robe. It's a very good robe to get at this point in the game, mainly because of the ability it has on it. Uh, pun intended. Yeah, yeah, we're done catching for now, but apparently I guess this will really help my... Uh, well, my learn my uh, getting more frogs. So, all right. But anyway, the silk robe has ability up, and loudmouth's not bad either. But mostly for ability up. Basically, what it does, you equip it, and during battle, you get uh, double the ability points of whatever it says you got. So it really helps you to learn abilities a lot faster. Uh, unfortunately, only mages can equip the silk robe, but well, better than a sharp stick in the eye. And Loudmouth protects against silence, which I really want to have for the next area. So, we're all in good shape. I uh, finished up a lot of abilities um, on the way down here. So, I mean, just so happened I finished a lot of them at the same time. So, uh, I've arranged my party with the abilities and uh, equipment as I've listed in the video description there. So, we're all set and ready to go to uh, Gizemaluka's Grotto. So, let's uh, head on over there then. Now, by the way, when I'm moving around on the world map, even if I have access to a chocobo, I usually choose not to use it anyway, just so I can keep working on abilities, fight random battles, you know, that sort of thing. Ah, there it is. Okay, we made it. Gizemaluke's Grotto. wonder why they call it that. Hmm. Well, uh, if you've liked the plot to the game so far, this is where the, we change the beats. Things start picking up from here. Whoa. Got burn marks on the walls and everything. Some kind of cannon fire. Or black mages, that too. Uh, BB's brothers and sisters, I guess. I don't know. What's going on? Oh, yeah, that too. Well, what do you care? You abandoned your kingdom, what was it, three, five years ago, she said? Yeah, I know. I kept on calling uh, Freya a he in the last episode. You know, I have gender confusion problems. But can you blame me for, from Squaresoft's point of view? Really, viewers? Hey, how's it going? Oh, not very good, apparently. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, sorry, dude. A bell? What is it with bells in these games? 
You know, they have bells to do all sorts of things in these Final Fantasy games. I, I don't get it. But anyway, we, if the game will let me, we get a Gizmoluke bell. All right. Let's see what that bell does. Let's ring the bell at the door. Special delivery! Oh, that's a weird key. Well, there we go. Whoa, these things are alive. Set your ass on fire. Holy cow. No way we can take on those guys. Hey, hey, it's Thorn and Thorn. Must be, uh, it must be Alexandria behind all this. Huh. Haven't they? Huh. <laughs> kill, kill, kill! Now we get to fight the Black Mages. Uh, they are considered human-type enemies, which is why I have uh, Freya equipped with Maneater. Uh, I think she should be able to one-shot them. But, uh, well, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, one thing you might notice is that Zidane, those thief swords that Zidane has, yeah, they look just like the, uh, what is it? They look just like uh, Surge's weapons, the Swallows in Chrono Cross, yeah. And I'm sure that's not a coincidence. But anyway, let's see, uh, let's steal from the other one there then. Okay, apparently Freya cannot one-shot them, but we can get pretty close. Yeah, Kina should be able to finish that one off. There we go. But yeah, their magic's not terribly powerful. They have no elemental weakness, so nothing to worry about. Um, I don't think we can eat them, can we? Let's find out. I don't think we get anything from them, though, even if I were able to successfully eat them. Uh, apparently not. No, nope, can't eat. Well, there you go. If you try to eat a monster that you've already tried to eat, or you've already gotten the uh, blue magic spell for, then uh, what, what'll what happen is uh, Kino will say, oh, it tastes no good, or something like that. So, there we are. Hey, hey, all right. Got antibody, but I have nothing better to uh, equip on him for his wrist, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Run away! Run away! Well, let's see what else we got going on around here. And for defeating them, we get another bell. All right. Oh, by the way, after that battle, I finished off Bird Killer. So let's uh, equip that now. So now I'm really set up like I am, I was or was saying in the video description. So let's ring the bell here. Open this door. Where does this take us? Through a secret passage. Let's see. Haha! -ha, there we go. We get another bronze vest. All right. Um. Let's see. BB doesn't need it. Let's give that to Zidane. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, he can even learn the ability. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, there we go. Let's see who we got here. Plenty of new enemies around here for us to play with. Let's see. We got a skeleton. They are, well, weak to fire and holy, just like any other Final Fantasy game. I have Undead Killer equipped on Zidane and Freya there because this guy has a lot of HP. He won't kill you, but still, you know, you might want to watch out for it. And, uh, yeah, that's the elemental absorption property of the Coral Ring. So, Coral Rings are really nice for that. Too bad Freya can't, uh, one-shot them. Zidane can with, uh, well, he could, possibly, but... Okay, there we go. Well, the skeletons can be a little dangerous, but nothing we can't handle. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, all right, another bell. Okay, you just sit there for a while, like for a couple discs or something, until someone comes and clean up your body. Let's ring the bell here. But before going through there, there's one other thing I want to do. Let's not go through there yet. Let's go back. Remember that soldier? Well, yeah, it was just two minutes ago. Did you forget about him already? You heartless soul. Well, anyway, let's check his body again. Gotta check him for spare change. I mean, he's all dead now. So, But for searching him again, we get another bell. All right. I don't know if having that extra bell matters, but, you know, better than a sharp stick in the eye. All right, and these guys are too. Hornets. Uh, they are weak to thunder, 
Um, but I should be able to one-shot them with my bird killer because they are considered bird. They're not bird killer doesn't so much refer to bird type enemies as it does flying enemies. It's more like probably should be kill, called like aerial killer or something like that. Buzz ability will give you a buzz. It'll uh, cast inflict berserk on you, which will cause you to attack them endlessly. But we got them all the same. Uh, let's see, hornets, if you eat them, you can get damage from them. I uh, forgot to mention skeletons, if you eat them, you can get uh, pumpkin head from them. So, there we are. But I've already learned all of them, so I don't care. Let's see, uh, hornets are also weak to wind, but I don't have anything that can do that right now. Not yet. You don't need to open the doors, or get that extra Gizemeluke's bell and open all the doors here, but it's nice. It saves time later in the game, that is. Uh, no, no, I want to go up. Sit on, sit on, let's go back. Go up. Come on, there you go. Now let's see, somewhere over here. Haha, -ha! there we go. Over here we get the Mithril Gloves, or well, another pair. There we go. Running into a lot of skeletons today. Well, at least they're not as hard as they were in Dragon Warrior 1! And down here we get a mag Magus Hat. All right. So, er, I'm going to say Magus hat, because there's actually a Magus hat in this game. And you can learn slow. Uh, not the best ability in the world, but, you know, it's alright. What's going on over here? Your darling is a bell. Yeah, that's great. I didn't know Moogles married bells. Oh, your, your husband's in the bell. Oh, okay. Nuts. Hmm. Well, nothing we can do for him. Oh. That's a weird place to have a wedding. But I suppose everyone else just ignores the Moogles usually, so... Well, give it a try. Hmm? You... What's the smell? Hmm? What, what's your problem, dude? Uh, yeah. So, it's mine. Um, okay, sure, why not? It's just sitting in my key item inventory anyway. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. So, what? Whoa, holy crap! That's a powerful Moogle there getting the, to get those Koopa Nuts. Well, all right, I, I, I guess we freed them. I suppose... <laughs> I, I suppose so. Okay, let's join them in the back room there and have a grand time next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.